So here we're going to create an application for the uh, first time. Um, we set up a developer account in the previous uh, step, so if you want to see how to create a developer account, uh, get on the iPhone to test and publish the app so you can check that out, but you don't actually have to do any of that stuff to create your first application. We call this process creating your application prototype. It's a web simulator based process that allows you to figure out what you want to put into your native application. Right now we have we only have one for iPhone, which is a native app iPhone mashup. As you can see here, you can add PhoneGap, JQ Touch, HTML5, as well as our standard RSS and Atom feed-based um, items, uh, such as iTunes Podcasts, Flickr, and Ning, and all that kind of stuff. So, go ahead and choose that. And in this step, we're, you're able to skip this step and go right into uh, creating an app. But if you're really not sure what you want to do, you can either put in uh, a site. Uh, we use Zendesk a lot, so I'll go ahead and give them a little kudos here. Um, we, you could you just put in the site and it'll go and check that site or you can actually use the brand or your brand itself. And we'll go out and try to find as much uh, information as we can that, that closely relates to your brand. You can see here we went ahead and found uh, a logo and already have an app created for the most part. Um, it might not be uh, the, the, an app that you can go to the App Store with, but you could definitely uh, put it on your test device and start using it. Um, it is usable and it is an application. Uh, in the Art tab, you can change that logo that we just saw from this list below. And you can see here I just changed it to that symbol there. Uh, I can make it all white with this symbol here. And just by selecting these images that we found for you, you can create your... Uh, uh, Apple icon, your iPhone icon. You can choose it from a disk if you want to upload a 512 by 512 yourself um, and make it custom, you can do so. Or if you have a URL that you want to upload from, you can do that. So now we have the splash screen to deal with. That's a pretty good splash screen. I like the, the modern, minimal kind of thing going on. Uh, but we may want to change something else. So let's go ahead and use their Buddha. And we can create that. Or we can choose something else. We can choose this. No, nope, couldn't use that image. That image wouldn't work. So we can use that image too. So you can go and once again select from disk, from URL, or from just a search by price pressing then desk. We can do uh, other things too. We wanted this to be just a Buddha. And you can do an image search and it'll get just things that relate to the Buddha, which might be helpful for you as well, which is pretty good. And for all intents and purposes, this is an app, and uh, we, we want to do more to it, of course, but you have your icon, as you can see, created. You have your, you have your splash screen created, and then you have the content for that created. Now, this might not be the right content at this point. Remember, we just went out and tried our best to find something. Uh, but we can go ahead and go to tabs and customize it further, and we'll have a segment on that as well.